let us do this question uh, in this question uh, what is being asked is whether for the following data warp is satisfied or not right so i hope uh, you would have done the earlier recordings in which we talked about warp direct and indirect reveal preference so let me just form uh, the table so basically how do you read this when the prices were p let's say 1 uh, 2 2 the choice which is made at p is x 10 1 when prices were p dash to 1 choice which was made is x dash when prices were p double dash choices which were made were x double dash right okay so you have what let me just write my choices here yeah. and prices here so my price my choices are 10 1 5 5 5 4 prices were <clears throat> 2 2 2 1 and 1 2 right so let me find out first of all <clears throat> the expenditure when you're choosing x at price p x dash at price p dash and x double dash at price p double dash so it means okay let me also write this this is x this is x dash this is x double dash this is p this is p dash and this is p double dash so you're choosing x at price p so what is the expenditure which you're making 2 into 10 20 plus 2 into 1 22 right you're choosing x dash at price p dash so what is an expenditure 2 into 5 10 plus 1 into 5 5 so 10 plus 5 15 at prices p double dash you're choosing x double dash so what is an expenditure 1 into 5 5 plus 2 into 4 8 5 plus 8 13 right okay now let me just find out uh, what would have been an expenditure if you're going to choose x dash at price p what would have been an expenditure if you're going to choose x double dash at price p so this is to find out whether these bundles were affordable or not at price p so let me just do that i hope you guys can do so when you just find out the expenditure 2 into 5 plus 2 into 5 so that comes out to be 20 right then at prices p the expenditure on x double dash beta is 18 hmm? similarly of course i mean at price p dash you've already chosen x dash so at price p dash what would be the expenditure if you would if you would have to choose x that would have been 21 at price p dash if you would have to choose x double dash then the expenditure would have been 14 2 into 5 plus 1 into 4 at price p double dash yes you have chosen x double dash but we just want to find out what were whether the bundles x and x dash were affordable at price p double dash so at price p double dash beta what is the expenditure in case if you want to choose x then what is the expenditure that is 12 at price p double dash if you're going to choose x dash then the bun then the expenditure is 15 this way now just think about it so these red bundles are the bundles which you actually chose at those prices okay so when prices were p you were choosing x so definitely both x dash and x double dash were affordable that is completely right both x dash was affordable and x double dash was also affordable okay so let me write this point 
<coughs> let me write this point that is at price p21 when x 10 1 is chosen both x dash and x double dash were available were affordable you with me that's one thing okay now when prices were p dash yes you are choosing x dash which bundle is affordable so at prices p dash bundle x is not affordable because it is costing you 21 while you you'd only spend 14 fine but bundle x double dash was affordable at price p double dash just circle this let us write that at price p dash when x dash equals to 5 5 is chosen bundle x double dash was affordable right okay when prices were p double dash yes you are choosing x double dash so just think about it the expenditure which you are making on x at price p double dash is less than the expenditure you're making actually on x double dash so when you're when you're choosing x double dash at prices p double dash x was affordable not x dash so you can also write this at prices p double dash which is one two when x double dash five four is chosen right so i think i should use was here was chosen was chosen was chosen bundle x was affordable right beta so let me circle this let me circle this now you just think about it when you are saying when x is chosen x dash and x double dash were affordable it means that you are showing your preference of x over x dash and x double dash then definitely you can say that x is directly revealed preferred to x dash and x is also directly revealed preferred to x double dash right fair enough now just look at it here when you're choosing x dash at prices p dash x double dash is affordable so you're saying what x dash is directly revealed preferred to x double dash fair enough now the problem comes here what is this telling you you're choosing x double dash when x was also affordable so it means x double dash is directly revealed preferred to x this is a violation of war you are saying x is directly revealed preferred to x double dash and then you are saying x double dash is directly revealed preferred to x. A warp would require 
that when you are saying that x is directly revealed preferred to x double dash then it should not be the case that x double dash is directly revealed preferred to x. So, this guy is a violation violation. This is violation of what? In this example, what is it that we have seen? We have seen that yes, warp is violated. Right, Buddha? 